Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here with another Status Pro Baseball game for you. Today it's going to be the 2019 uh, Atlanta Braves taking on the 1970 San Francisco Giants. Uh, on the mound today for the visiting Atlanta Braves will be Kevin Gausman. And on the mound for the 1970 Giants will be Juan Marichal, one of their uh, big time aces of that particular season. Uh, Gosman is a uh, an SR 18, so he'll start at 18, and Juan Marichal is an SR 17, so he'll be starting at 17. So those guys are not likely to get tired, but we will see if they get hit around by the opposing offenses to the degree that they exit a lot earlier than they otherwise would. So we will get on with the game. Um, if you are not aware, I play with my own rules, my own home rules for Stratomatic, or not Stratomatic, sorry, Status Pro. Um, and I explained how I do that um, in a past video. So if you want to go back and check it out, just go check out Sportsman Z, type in Status Pro Baseball, and it should come up with the video where I explain how I do my uh, home rules. So with that, we will get on with it. Um, the lineup for the Atlanta Braves will be Ronald Acuna Jr. in center field, uh, Ozzie Elbies at second base, Nick Markakis in right field, Donaldson will be the third baseman, Freddie Freeman is at first base, Austin Riley in left, uh, Dansby Swanson will be the shortstop. Tyler Flowers is doing the catching today for uh, Atlanta and Kevin Gosman. And then, of course, Kevin Gosman batting in the ninth spot and doing the pitching. So, uh, and they are all going to be facing Juan Marichal. And so let's get on with it. And uh, that is a nine. So he is a... Uh, a he is a PB two to six. So this is uh, Acuna is in charge. And the roll is, and we're going with the, the blue dice is the uh, first number and the red is the second and that is an 18. And on an 18, that is a single to right field for Acuna Jr. So he gets a base hit. Um, and uh, there are still no outs, and Ozzy Elbies is now up. And that is a six, so that is Marischal in charge, and it is a 61, and 61 is going to be an out, a fly out seven. So, one down, and let me, uh, let me, I in fact, uh, Marischal got deducted one because he did give up a single. And then Elbies was out. And then you got Marcakis up. And we will see what happens now. That is a 9, so Marcakis is in charge, and it is an 86. And an 86 is an out, and we will pick it to see. He is an LN. LN goes um, G4 with an asterisk, possible um, uh, possible um, error. Let's see if there was an error on the play. There is none, and a G4, we will check to see if that was a double play. Double play grounder, ground out to shortstop. To first, so it is a double play, and there wasn't an error, so that is the end of the inning, and Marcakis is out. And uh, Atlanta gets no runs in the first. We go to the bottom of the first inning, and that will bring up the uh, Giants. 
The Giants will be facing, of course, Gosman, and their lineup will be Tito Fintess at shortstop, uh, Bobby Bonds in left, Willie Mays in right, McCovey at first, Davenport at third base, Ken Henderson in center, Ron Hunt at second, Dick Dietz at catcher, and then Marischal pitching. So we will get on with that. And that is a 6 and um, an 18. The 6 is uh, with Gossman in charge. Uh, but an 18 is going to be a uh, single to center field for Fintess. So he gets a hit. And that brings up Bobby Bonds. And that, is, that reduces Gossman one. And that is a four and a 26. So it's on Gosman's card, uh, but it's a 26. That's going to be something. It is a single to right field. And so they have two. The Giants have something going right here. They've got runners at first and second with nobody out. Gosman already in a little bit of trouble. And we will um, subtract one there. And Willie Mays. Willie Mays is up. It's on Gosman's card. Uh, it is a 48, and 48 is a wild pitch. Um, and that is a 9. Now it's um, Willie Mays in charge, and it is a 17. And 17 is going to be a sing single to center field and a run scoring. So... Um, Willie Mays knocks in an RBI and a, and a run scores. And they've got runners at the corners with uh, nobody out still and Willie McCovey out. Willie McCovey gets an 8 and that is going to be on McCovey's card. But it is a 40, it is a 64. 64 is an out and he is an LP. So an LP is a ground out four, and that is going to be a double play if it's not an error. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, not necessarily, because now it's runners at first and third. So let me check. Okay, so the runner goes to second. The runner at third holds, and the batter is out, so it isn't a double play. It is, however, two outs. I th or wait, is that it's one? Is that one? Yeah, that is one. So that's a ground out, and runners are at now at second and third with one down, and Davenport at the plate. And uh, the uh, the Braves are not going to bring the infield in. And that is a nine, and it is on um, it's on Davenport's card, and. It's an 11, and that's going to be some. That's going to be a, a single to left field, so another run scores. And they get a second run, and now all of a sudden the Giants are up two nothing. And uh, Ken Henderson is up, and also we I have to subtract these. Let's see, one, two, and then two runs have scored. So Gosman's already down to a 12. And we've got Ken Henderson. And that is an 11. That's going to be on the, um, that's going to be on my chart here. And that's going to be a CD. All right. The result of that play was a line out to the second baseman with the uh, runner being doubled off, the runner on first being doubled off. So um, that is a double play. And the Giants are now out of the inning and they're, um, their threat has ended, but they got two runs in the bottom of the first inning. And we are going to the top of the second with Donaldson up. Josh Donaldson up at the plate. That is a 10, and it is a reading of 18, so it's on Donaldson's card 18 and that is a second base um, a double it's a double to center field so Donaldson gets a double 
He's at second. There are no outs, and that is another one off of uh, off of Marischal's card. Austin Riley is, or wait, nope, Freddie Freeman is up. And Freddie Freeman, that's a five. It's on Marischal's card, and it is an 87, which is going to be an out for sure. And he is an LP. And I'll go G5 with an asterisk. So we're just going to check for the error. And uh, an error 5 to 10. So a 0. So that is not an error. So there is one, one away. And that brings up Austin Riley. And that's going to be a seven, so Austin Riley is in charge on this play. His card, it's going to, reading's going to be off his card, and it's a 14, which is a single to uh, left field. So that is going to be, um, let's see, was that a single? Wait a minute, 14? No, it's a double. It's a double to left field. So Riley has a double, and he, uh, it's a run scoring double, scoring Donaldson. And the, uh, the Braves are fighting back here with Dansby Swanson up the plate. And that's going to be another hit and another run. And that is a six, so it's on uh, Marischal's card. And it is a 22, and that's going to be a single to center field, which will put runners at the corners. So Swanson with a hit, and the Braves are doing the same thing in the second inning to the Giants that the Giants did to the Braves in the first. Tyler Flowers is up. That's a six. It's going to be on Marischal's card. Uh, but it is a 32, and 32 is a strikeout. So that's two down. Flowers is gone. Flowers is erased, and that brings up Gosman. And that's an 8. It's on Gosman's card, and it is a 28, and 28 is a strikeout. So Gosman strikes out and ends the threat that the Braves had, but they did score a run, and it is 2-1. to one. The top of the lineup will be up for the Braves next inning. But right now, the Giants are up, batting against Gosman. And they're putting Ron Hunt up. Ron Hunt was a guy, of course, that got hit by a lot of pitches during his, uh, his time playing baseball. Was famous for that. Seven. So it's going to be on Hunt's card. And it is a 38. And 38 is a walk. So he walks. He doesn't get hit by a pitch, but he does walk. And that, of course, will reduce Gosman one more. And Dick Dietz is up. They are really whittling Gosman down here. Six, and that's a 77. It's on Gosman's card, and it's a 77, and it's an out. And he is an RP, and all goes G4, and that is a double play. So that's going to be two down. And that brings Juan Marichal up to the plate. The pitcher batting against the pitcher Gosman. And that is a 5. And that is a 48. Um, it'll be on Gosman's card. And it's a 48, which is a wild pitch. Except we're going to ignore that reading since there was nobody on base. And... Um, So we're going to, uh, I guess we're going to do that again. We're going to do the that roll again. And that is a 34. And a 34 is a strikeout. So Marischal strikes out, probably what he would have done in real life anyway. And no runs come across for the Giants. The Giants, similarly, will be at the top of their lineup the next time we see them. But... 
right now we're in the top of the third with Atlanta batting and the top of their lineup Ronald Acuna Jr. And uh, that's a seven, so it's on Acuna's card, and it is a 33. Wait a minute, is that what that is? No, it's an 83, so he's going to be out. He's an RP, and that is all go F9, so he flies out to left field. Um, Acuna Jr. is out in the third. With one down, Ozzy Albies is up. And that is a 5, and it is a 62. So it's on uh, Marichal's card, 62, which is an out. And Elby's is a BP. And that's all go G6A. So that's going to be an out with a possible error reading. We'll check for the error. And the error says none. So Elby's is indeed out. And that brings Nick Markakis to the plate with two down and the base is empty. And that's a six, and the dice are, uh, say, 27. So it is on uh, Marichal's card and a reading of 27, which is a strikeout. So Marcakis strikes out, and that Atlanta goes pretty quickly right there. We go to the bottom of the third inning with Tito Fontes at the top of the Giants lineup. Up to face Gosman. Who is still out there? And that is a nine. It's going to be on Fintessa's card. And it is a 24. And that is going to be a single to right field. So they get the leadoff man on again. Because Fintess had a single to lead off the game for the Giants. Bobby Bonds is up with no out. That's a 12, so a 12 is a BD. That's going to be a triple. So um, Bobby Bonds gets a tri triples in a run. So he's 90 feet away with a run already in, and so Gosman gives up another hit and another run, and that reduces him two more. And Willie Mays is up. So with Bobby Bonds just 90 feet away, you got Willie Mays up at the plate. Not a good sign. That's a 6 and a uh, uh, 34. So it's on Gosman's card, but it's a 34, and that is a strikeout. So Gosman manages to strike out Mays, which is good. He really needed to do that. Um, with the score right now still pretty close, 2-1 to one with Willie McCovey up. Infield not in, 7, a 7 and a 13. That's going to be on McCovey's card, and it's a 13, which is a double to uh, left field. So McCovey doubles in this another run this inning the second run this inning for the Giants and Davenport comes up Davenport that's a four so it's on Gosman's card and it is a 64 which is an out and we will see Davenport is an RN all go G5 so we'll see what that is so that's a ground out and the runner the runner holds so is that is that two down or is that um, the first? That is two down. Yeah. And that brings up Ken Henderson. That's a 7, so it's going to be on Ken Henderson's card, and it is a 12. No, it's a 21. 21. And 21 is a single to uh, right field. Ken Henderson with a single. And the runner is McCovey. Let's see what he is running. Let's see if we want to send him. 
speed E, so we're not going to do that. And Ron Hunt is and that is a 4 and a 21. It is on Gossman's card, but 21 is going to probably be in a hit range, and it is single to center field. And Ron Hunt knocks in a run. That's the third run this inning for the Giants. And I, I misspoke a little bit of a go. I said it was still 2-1. to one. It wasn't at that point. Um, but now the Giants have really opened it up. So Dick Dietz up, and that's a single and another run. And that is a 7 and a 52. So this is on Dick Dietz's card. Um, and that's going to be a walk. So the bases are full. And with the bases full, you got Juan Marichal up. And that's a 7, so it is on Marichal's card, and it's a 21. Or no, it's a 12. It's a 12, and it's a strikeout. So Marichal strikes out, mercifully ending the inning. Uh, but the, um, the Giants got three right there. And it's five to one going to the top of the fourth. And you got um, Josh Donaldson up at the plate. That's a seven and a looks like 66. So it is on Donaldson's card and it's a 66. He's an RP. Uh, that is um, an L6. So it's a line out to the shortstop. One away. Donaldson is eliminated. Line out to short. Uh, one down and Freddie Freeman up. Freddie Freeman gets a six. And that is a 62. Um, it is on Marischal's card, 62, which is an out. And he is an LP and LP says uh, deep fly to um, the center fielder. So, uh, well, is that, the, wait a minute. Okay, that's, there's nobody on base because I forgot to take the runners off. So um, that is the second out. He flies out. And that brings Austin Riley up to the plate. Austin Riley getting a 10 and an 82, which is going to be certainly an out. And um, he is an RP. And RP is um, all go G2 um, with a possible error. Um, so we will see if there was an error on the play. And there wasn't. So Austin Riley is out. And the Braves get nothing in the fourth. And there's going to be a new pitcher for the Braves. And Bryce Wilson. Bryce Wilson will be the new uh, pitcher. He is an RR14, which is pretty good. So he's going to go back up to that level. And... Uh, the Giants have Tito Fantas back at the start of their lineup again. And that's where they started. They batted around in the third, and so they are back at the start of the lineup here in the fourth, in the bottom of the fourth, with a 5-1 to one lead. And that is an 8, so it's going to be on Fantas's card. And it is an 80, or wait, no, it's a 58. 58 is an out. He is an SN. And that is an F9. So there's one away. Fintess is out. One down, and that brings up Bobby Bonds. Bobby Bonds gets a 6 and a 55, which is probably going to be an out. It is. Um... Well, it, let's see. 55. 
Yes, it is. It's a strikeout, as a matter of fact. So Bobby Bond strikes out. Two down, and Willie Mays is up. That's an 11, so it's going to be a, uh, well, it's a clutch defense, but we're going to um, ignore that. And so we're going to um, put it on the batter's card, and it is a 48. 48 on the batter's card is a walk. So Willie Mays walks. That reduces Bryce Wilson, another one. And Willie McCovey's up. McCovey gets a four, and that is a 17. So it's on Bryce Wilson's card, but it's still probably going to be a hit, and it is a center, it's a single to center field. So McCovey getting a single. All of a sudden, the Giants are putting a, another rally together. They batted around in the third, and they um, look like they want to do it again with Davenport at the plate. Seven. That is a 57. So it is on Davenport's card. 57, which is an out. He is an RN. And that is a GX1. There is a possible error. We'll check for that. If it's an out, that would be the end of the inning anyway, so we don't need to check for the double play. Uh, but there is no error. So Davenport is out. And that ends the inning. The Braves get out of that. Bryce Wilson gets out of that little mess. And we go to the top of the fifth. Uh, Marischal still out there. He's doing, he's doing quite well. I mean, Marischal hasn't really run into too many problems lately here. One, two, three, yes, four. So he started out as a, let's make sure we've got him right. 17 minus 4 is 13. Yep, he's at the right place. So he's still got some gas in the tank. He's doing fine. And Dansby Swanson is the batter here in the top of the fifth. And that is an 8 with a uh, uh, 15. So it's going to be on uh, Swanson's card. And it, a 15 is going to be a base hit. It's a single to center field. Swanson with a hit. And that brings up, and see, this is why I use this method instead of the cards, because you notice there's been a lot of low rolls, which have resulted in a lot of hits, but it's happening on the dice, not happening on the cards. So five, so you know it's random, and that's a five and a 77, which is going to be on um, uh, Marischal's card, and a 77, which is an out, and he's an RP, and this is all go G6X with a man at first base, so we'll check the chart. We will refer to the chart, and that was a GX. What is that? Second shortstop to second batter safe at first. So that's one down and Flowers is now the man at first base and that is your situation. And that brings up the um, the pitcher Bryce Wilson. We, you know what? We're gonna let him we're gonna let him hit. Um, because he's got some he's got some mileage. He can pitch a few innings and we'll just see what happens. Uh, that is a four, so it's on um, Marischal's card, and it's a 38. So 38 on Marischal's card is a walk. So he walks Bryce Wilson anyway. So so the Braves have two men on, and Ronald Acuna Jr. back to the start of the lineup for Atlanta. That's an 11. That is a uh, clutch defense. Okay, that says no action occurs, so just go back to normal play, which I guess means roll it again. Roll it again. And that is a 6. That's going to be on the pitcher's card. And it is a 44, which is an out. Acuna Jr. is an RP. 
and that is I'll go G5 and we will check out what that well we'll first we'll see if there's an error um, there isn't and it is a double play grounder so we're out of the inning and uh, the Braves don't get another run there in the fifth we go to the bottom of the fifth inning And Ken Henderson is the batter. Bryce Wilson's still out there. They let him hit last inning, so they're going to keep him out there. He's good for multiple innings as a starter reliever. That is a 9, so it's going to be on the batter's card. And it is a 75, which is an out, and he is an SP. And that says, I'll go G to A. We'll check for the error, and there isn't one, so it's an out. Ken Henderson's out. And that brings up Ron Hunt. I forgot. I'm not doing that. I'm not checking the cards. And that is a four. So that's going to be on Bryce Wilson's card. And it is a 21, which is a single to center field. So Ron Hunt has a single. And that brings Dick Dietz to the plate. And that does reduce Wilson another one. And that's an 8, which, and a 78, so it's on Bryce Wilson's card. Or no, it's on uh, Dick Dietz's card. And it is a 78, which is an out, and he's an RP. And uh, that says, I'll go G4, and G4, we can check that out. And that's a double playgrounder, so... Dick Dietz hits into a double play, and they, the Giants, have uh, have uh, gotten out of the inning without any more runs being scored by them. And we're going to the top of the sixth, rolling right along here. And Ronald Acuna Jr. is at the plate. That is a ten, and a. 71, which is going to be an, it's going to be on Acuna's card, but it's going to be an out, and that's an RP. And an RP is all go G3A. We'll check for the error, and uh, there is none. So Acuna Jr. is out, or no? Wait, that was uh, that was actually that was Albies. So Marcakis is up with one down, and that is a seven, and that means it's on um, Nick Marcakis' card, and it is a 14, which is going to be a base hit, single to center field for Marcakis with one down. Here in the uh, sixth inning, we are in the sixth inning, and the Atlanta Braves are of 2019 are losing to the 1970 Giants by the score of five to one. Josh Donaldson is up. That is an eight and a seven and a a 13. So it's going to be on um, Donaldson's card, and it's a 13, which is a single to right field. And there are two Braves aboard with one out. Here in the sixth, with the Braves down by four runs and Freddie Freeman at the plate, that of course deducts two more off of Marischal's. And that is a nine and a 33, so it's going to be on Freeman's card at 33, and that is a home run! Three run home run for Freddie Freeman. And he brings in three runs with that. And now the Braves are right back in this thing. That is a hit by given up by Marischal in one, two, three runs. And he is down to a seven. And that brings up Austin Riley. And so the Braves have scratched their way back into this. And that's a 12, which is a, uh, a, a BD. So we're just going to... Because, uh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, the bases are empty. So, um, 
there's no clutch batting involved on this and so we're just going to read it off the uh, batter's card and it is a an 82 which is an out he's an RP and RP says uh, ground out G6A we'll check for the error and there isn't one so that is two down Riley is out and Swanson is out Dansby Swanson stepping in against Juan Marichal and that is a 10 and an 11 which is going to be on Dansby Swanson's card it's going to be a base hit it's a single and uh, the Braves are not giving up yet and that also reduces another one off of Marichal's rating and we go to Tyler Flowers the catcher and Bryce Wilson would be the next batter, so you got to figure that the Braves would pinch hit for him. That is a 9 and an 86, so it's going to be an out, probably. Um, and uh, he is an RP. All go G5 with an asterisk, so we'll check for the error. And there is no error. So Fla Flowers is out. But the Braves do strike for three in the sixth, and now it is five to four going to the bottom of the sixth with the um, uh, Giants up and sending up Juan Marichal, except they are not going to send him up. They're going to take him out of the game. Hitter will be Bob Berta. So we will put Bob Berta up. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And uh, Bryce Wilson is going to go one more. We're going to try to stretch him. The Braves are going to try to stretch him. I mean, he's been pitching great. Way better than Gosman did. So that's a four. It's on Bryce Wilson's card. But it's a 22, which is going to be a base hit to center field. So Bob Bird are getting a ripping a base hit in the sixth and going back to the top of the order and Tito Fintes. And that is also going to reduce Wilson one. That's an 11. That is a clutch defense. Okay, that was a line out and the runner was doubled off. So that's two down. So Fintes is out. Out DP, two down. And Bobby Bonds is up, and Bryce Wilson has been pitching great here. And that is a 9 and a 72, which is going to be on Bryce, or it's going to be on Bobby Bonds' card. Um, and it's going to be a walk. So Bobby Bonds walks. They're not quite done yet, and that does reduce Bryce Wilson another one. And he is starting to tire. Willie Mays at the plate. That's a six. That's going to be on um, Mays' card, and it's going to be a 66, which is an out. And he is an RP. All go G4. We'll check for the error, and there isn't one. So the Giants do and do uh, get out of the inning with no runs scored. Um, and Bryce Wilson pitching pitched. He's pitched awesome coming in for. Um, for Gosman. Um, yeah, well, that was him, but anyway. So, uh, but Bryce Wilson's spot in the lineup is up right now again, and so they will pinch hit for him. That was partly why they left him out there. Hitter will be Johan Camargo. So he steps in, uh, and also it isn't Juan Marichal anymore, is it? It's going to be, we got a new pitcher, and uh, the new pitcher for the Giants Skip Pitlock. And he will also have to go into the Giants lineup. So you got a new batter, it's Johan Car Camargo, who is 
uh, pinch hitting for Bryce Wilson, the pitcher for Atlanta, and he's facing the new pitcher for the um, Giants, and that's Skip Pitlock. He is a reliever eight, so we'll put him back to eight, and Camargo uh, will back. And that is a five. It is on Skip Pitlock's card, and it's an 86, which is an out, and he is a BN. And that is a, uh, a line out to the pitcher. So that's one down. Camargo is out. Here in the top of the seventh. Ronald Acuna Jr. is up. That is a 7, so it's going to be on Acuna's card. And it is a 74, and he is an RP. That's an out. Or no, it isn't. He's hit by pitch. Unbelievable. All right, so, un so Acuna Jr. is hit by pitch. And that is going to reduce Pitlock 1. And it gives a base runner for Atlanta, who is only down by one. This, it, the score is five to four. Ozzy Elbies is up, and that is a six. So it's going to be on Pitlock's card, and it is a 46, and 46 is a walk. So Pitlock goes down another one, and all of a sudden he's in a lot of trouble. Two runners are on with one out for Atlanta with Marcakis up at the plate. And that is a three. It's going to be on Pitlock's card. And it is a 12. And that's a single to left field. And the, the, the Braves all of a sudden are in some real control here. And Pitlock is in some real trouble. And the Giants are in some real trouble. The bases are loaded. They're going to play back for the double play because they still have a one-run lead. And Josh Donaldson is up. That is a 9 and um, a 38. So it's going to be on Donaldson's card. And it's a 38, which is a strikeout. So they were lucky there. They got the strikeout. And so that's two down. And that brings up Freddie Freeman. Very dangerous hitter for this situation. That's a five, so it is on Pitlock's card. And it is a 45. 45 on Pitlock is a walk. And so he walks Freddie Freeman and walks in a run. And the Braves have tied the game at five with Austin Riley up. And that is... Uh, no, he's almost done. He just got in. He's almost done. Seven it is on the batter's card. It's an 87. He's an out. That's an RP. RP is a G6 or GX3. Would be the final out if there's no error and there isn't an error. So Austin Riley is out. But the Braves tie the game. Unbelievable. It is five to five as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And there has to be a new pitcher for the Atlanta Braves. It's going to be Jerry Blevins. Jerry the Governor Blevins. All right. I just made that up. But anyway, uh, he is an RR8. So they we will put that at 8. And um, Willie McCovey will step in against him in the bottom of the 7th here. In San Francisco's Candlestick Park. And let me just go get that dice. That is a two, and so it's going to be on Blevins' card, and it is a 24, and 24 is going to be a strikeout. So Willie McCovey strikes out here in the seventh. One down, and Jim Davenport. Jim Davenport gets a five, so it is on Blevins' card. And that is a 52. 52 is going to be a wild pitch. So we will just re-roll it again. Um, 
Yeah, we'll just re-roll it again. God. Dropping the dice. So that's a five. It's still on Blevins' card, and it is a 62, which is an out. And uh, Davenport is an RN, and RN is an F7, so it's a flyout. We went through all of that just to see that it is a flyout by Davenport. So the Giants have two down with Ken Henderson up. And that is a 10 and an 84, which is going to be an out. And he is an SP. All go F9, and that is an out. So Henderson is out, and the Giants get no runs in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth with um, oh, go to the top of the eighth with the Braves coming to the plate. They're going to keep. Pitlock, they're going to try to keep Pitlock out there at least to get through this inning. So Dansby Swanson is going to face him uh, here in the top of the eighth. That is an eight and a 24, which um, puts it on his card, and it's a 24, which is a uh, double to center field. So um, there, that was probably not the best of ideas. I just want to say that that's probably not the greatest of ideas. So there will be action in the uh, San Francisco uh, bullpen. And that will be Rich Robertson is up in the San Francisco Giants bullpen. With Tyler Flowers up. And that was another hit. That's a four, so it's on Pitlock's card, and it is a 55, which is um, a pass ball. And then we will roll it again with Tyler Flowers still up. And that is a nine and a 65. So it is on Flowers' card, 65, which is... Um, a strikeout. So there's one down with a man at third base. The Giants are still going to play the infield back. Um, well, no, they aren't. They aren't. But um, the pitchers, the pitcher spot is up, and this is a perfect uh, time to take Blevins out. So they're going to, Atlanta will pinch hit. Adam Duvall up to pinch hit. And Shane Green will be up in the, uh, bull, will get up in the uh, Atlanta bullpen. But right now, Adam Duvall is going to pinch hit. With a man at third and only one out um let's see and that is a nine and a 52 nine is on duvall's card and a 52 is a strikeout so he does manage to strike out um Duvall. And there is two down now with a man at third, 90 feet away, and Ronald Acuna Jr. is up. And that is an 8 and a 48. 8 would be on Acuna's card, and a 48 is a strikeout. So the Braves don't get any runs there. They almost did, but not quite. And so um, we go to the bottom of the eighth with the um, Giants batting, and they will be facing the new pitcher for Atlanta, who will be Shane Green. 
And Shane Green is an RR8, so that's right where he's got to be. And Ron Hunt is up in the bottom of the eighth of a tie game. And that is a six and an 11. So uh, Shane Green is in charge, but it's an 11, which is, a, is still a single. Ron Hunt aboard. Here in the bottom of the eighth. No outs. Dick Dietz up. And that does reduce him one. That is a nine. That's going to be on Dick Dietz's card. And it is going to be a 17. So that's going to be another hit. It's a single to right field. And uh, the Giants have something going big time on Shane Green. That reduces him another one. And that brings to the plate the uh, pitcher. Um, the pitcher spot, which they will pinch hit for him, obviously. The pinch hitter will be Bob Taylor. And that is a 10. It's on Taylor's card. And it is a 28. And that's going to be, you got to think maybe, no, it isn't. He strikes out. So it's one down. Bob Taylor, the pinch hitter, struck out in the clutch right there. And uh, that brings up. Tito Fintes with runners at first and second and one down. And that's five, so it's going to be on Shane Green's card. And it is a 74, which is going to be an out. And Fintes is an SN. And all go GX6. Okay, that was a fielder's choice, so the runners are now at the corners, and Bobby Bonds is the batter. Runners at the corners, two down. That is an 11. That is a clutch defense. And that was a line out by uh, Bobby Bonds. So the Giants don't get anything. We go to the top of the ninth in a very good game, tied up at five apiece. And there will be a new pitcher for the Giants. And the new pitcher for the Giants is going to be um, Rich Robertson. And he will start at 8. And we'll have to go get his card. So Rich Robertson is out there pitching to Elbies. Ozzie Elbies, who is leading off for Atlanta here in the top of the ninth of a tied game at 5 between the 2019 um, Atlanta Braves and the 1970 San Francisco Giants. That is a seven, so that will be on Elbies' card. And it is a 38, and 38 is a strikeout. So he is out, one down. Nick Marcakis, that is an 8, so it's on Marcakis' card. And it is a 32, which is a double to right field. <coughs> so Marcakis gets a double, and Rich Robertson is reduced by 1. One out, one on at second base, and Josh Donaldson up for the Braves. And that is a 10, which is on Donaldson's card, and it is a 23, which is a home run. Josh Donaldson hits a two-run home run. And the Braves take a two-run lead here in the ninth with Freddie Freeman up. And one out. And that's a seven. That is a 48. So it is on um, it's on Freddie Freeman's card at 48 which is <coughs> a strikeout. So Freeman strikes out and, uh, and by the way, that reduces Robertson another, like, 
three, something like that. Austin Riley is up, and that is a nine and a 78, which is an out. And he is an RP. I'll go GX5 uh, with an asterisk. Check for the error. Um, error 6 to 10. It isn't. So Riley is out. But the Braves got two runs in the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth. San Francisco has to have two runs right here. And they have Willie Mays to lead it off. So no better a person to have to lead it off. And uh, Shane Green is going to stay out there. He probably is being overextended a little bit, but I'm going to keep him out there. And that's a 4, which is on Green's card, and a 13, which is going to be a base hit through left field by Mays. And that reduces... <coughs> That reduces Shane Green to a five. Like I said, he is probably a little overextended here, but they have a two run lead. So. Willie McCovey is up. That is a seven. It's on Green's card, and it's a 65, which is an out. <coughs> He's an LP. I'm starting to lose my voice here. And that's a G5 um, asterisk. We'll see if there's an error. Uh, there isn't. And let's see if that was a double play. It is. It's a double play grounder. So McCovey hits into a, a very untimely double play. And Davenport is the batter. And that's a 12, so that's a BD. We're just going to read it off the, because uh, there's nobody on now. Um, so, uh, and that is an 83, so it's going to be an out. And he's an RN. And all go F7, and that is an out. So, the Giants lose it right at the very last moment and the 2019 Atlanta Braves have beaten the 1970 Giants by the score of 7 to 5. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.